हेलो वेलकम गाइस मैं हूं तस्खीर मैं हूं नोमान और हम रिएक्ट कर रहे हैं इस वीडियो के अंदर पाकिस्तान टॉप 10 मेगा प्रोजेक्ट्स रिवर रवि सिटी बंडल आइलैंड सी पैक पाकिस्तानी इकॉनमी तो देखते हैं इसके अंदर क्या दिखाया गया है 150 प्लस बिलियन यूएस डॉलर का मेगा मेगा प्रोजेक्ट्स जो आने वाले हैं उसके बारे में कुछ जानकारी होगी देखते हैं पाकिस्तान में क्या होने वाला है आने वाले टाइम में इंटरेस्टिंग वीडियो है चल Hey guys, welcome to Taxila. In today's video, we will take a look at the top 10 mega projects for the country of Pakistan. Pakistan is a fast emerging Asian nation with a huge population, expanding middle class, as well as being blessed with natural resources and beauty. Pakistan has all the ingredients to become a global economic power. So let's take a look at Pakistan's top 10 mega projects as of almost 2022. At number 10, we have the 10 billion tree project. This project aims to plant a whopping 10 billion trees in Pakistan within the next few years. Oh. It was started by Pakistani PM Imran Khan who believes that okay, Pakistan well, urgently well. needs to tackle climate change to ensure prosperity of its future generations. Please, he first planted 1 billion trees when he was the governor of Pakistan's northwest frontier province and now hopes to plant a total of 10 billion trees across Pakistan. 10 billion trees he says regarding, regarding the project. 2022, man. And against all odds we did it. Imran Khan has done it. No one expected it to happen, but a good initiative. Yeah, to be nature. We must Liye. make them understand how important trees were for the future. We made the people understand that Pakistan was very vulnerable to climate change. Climate change ke liye bahut zaruri. And we appealed to, to the people. We involved women in the in the mountainous areas to, uh, to grow nurseries, and it became one of the most successful campaigns. Uh, in our country's history of forestation. So when I became the Prime Minister, I resolved that we would plant 10 billion trees in Pakistan in the next four years. Number 9, Baria Town, Karachi. Baria Town, Karachi is a privately owned gated suburb under construction near Karachi, Pakistan's largest city, home to some 16 million people. The suburb is being developed by the Baria Town Group and occupies under 46,000 acres. The community will include the Grand Jamia Mosque, which will be the world's third largest, only behind Mecca and Medina, Grand as well as the Rafi Cricket Stadium, the country's largest. The community will be energy independent with a coal-fired and an LNG-powered electricity generation plant, in partnership with K-Electric. The community is planned to house around 1 million people. Saudi German Hospital Group is constructing a 300-bed hospital on a 12-acre site at a cost of $300 million, and on September 1, 2016, China Railway Construction Corporation Limited and Beria Town Group signed an agreement for construction on Blue Line of Karachi Metrobus, which will connect the town with downtown Karachi. Orange town will be Number 8, KCR, our Karachi Circular Railway. KCR operated as a public transit facility for Karachi but it shut down in 1999. Now, the new government has finalized a revival plan that aims to first resume operations by upgrading the current track. Long-term plans include building newer tracks to connect more areas, as well as to build most of the track elevated from the ground, and to eventually shift to fully modern electric trains. The KCR will complement the Karachi Metro bus system to ensure cheap and reliable public transport to only of the world's largest cities. Number 7, Crescent Bay, Karachi. I know, you must be thinking that why are all projects located in Karachi, but firstly Karachi, Karachi is Pakistan's largest financial development. center and economic capital, however you'll see that most bigger projects are not in Karachi, but before we get to them let's talk about Crescent Bay. This project is being developed by the renowned firm, Imar. It includes the construction of Imar some 40 medium and high-rise skyscrapers, five-star resorts, an expansive private beach, as well as an iconic tower that will dominate the area. It will have some 4,000 residential units and as of now around two towers are completed, and two are nearing completion. Karachi seriously needs more high-rise projects like this to support its ever-increasing population. population. Number 6, Karachi Coastal Comprehensive Development Zone, or KCCDZ. This focuses on providing Karachi with an ultra-modern urban infrastructure zone, placing the provincial capital amongst the top port cities of the world. The planned project would be built on direct Chinese investment of around $3.5 billion. Chinese Developed on a reclaimed area of approximately 640 hectares, the KCCDZ would be a flagship project for not only Pakistan but the entire region. In accordance with PM Imran Khan's vision for promoting low-cost housing, the KCCDZ would also provide residential housing to more than 20,000 families living in the surrounding slums. 
the environment friendly mega KCC four new births for KPT, our Karachi Port Trust, adding depth to Pakistan's expanding maritime sector. It would also house a state of the art fishing port, with a world class fisheries export processing zone to boost the country's trade potential. Number 5, Chand Terra Island. Finally moving away from Karachi, we step into Pakistan's next emerging mega city, Gwadar. Gwadar is the crown jewel Gwadar. of the China-Pakistan economic corridor, that we will discuss later. This city will be built on the lines of Chinese mega cities and will pivot Pakistan in its goal of becoming a global economic power. Mm. Chand Terra, Urdu for star and crescent, will be an island that will be located on the coast of Gwadar. It will provide ultra-modern economic, business and residential spaces for the future people of Gwadar. The total cost is expected to be 10 billion United States dollars. Number 4, Diamer Basha Dam. This is a massive energy generation and water storage project that is vital to Pakistan's long-term growth. Pakistan has a huge agricultural industry, and to support it, you need a reliable water source. Rainfall in Pakistan isn't reliable, hence irrigation mm -hmm. is needed. Upon completion, Diamer Basha Dam would produce 4,800 megawatts of electricity through hydropower generation. The 8 million acre feet reservoir with a height of 272 meters will be the tallest roller compact concrete dam in the world. Now we are at the top 3 mega projects of Pakistan. So at number 3 we have River Ravi City. The $41 billion project aims to rehabilitate and develop the Ravi River into a freshwater body, with high quality urban development on the adjoining areas which are home to about 35 million inhabitants. The idea is based on the developments around River Thames in London. In August 2020, it was announced that the revised area of the riverfront development was to be 40,000 hectares, instead of 18,000 hectares. 70% of its area will be reserved for the plantation of 6 million trees. A lake, an urban forest, three barges and six water treatment plants will be built in the first phase. A modern city on the banks of the Ravi River, bordering Lahore, which is Pakistan's second largest mega city, home to some 11 million people. It will have 1.4 million residential units, ease congestion in Lahore, and be an ultra-modern business and residential center. Number 2, Bundle Island City. This is another massive infrastructure project that envisions to provide residential and business space for Karachi. However, it's not being built on the Karachi city area, rather in a nearby island, known as Bundle Island. This project, once completed, would massively reduce stress on Karachi as Pakistan's largest city, with ultra-modern facilities such as high-rise buildings, educational spaces etc. The total investment will be of some $50 billion, and as stated by Pakistan's Prime Minister Imran Khan, it will eclipse Dubai, with providing housing to millions of people, and jobs to around 2.5 million people. This project is however, facing enormous challenges, especially that by the unprofessional Sindh government, who believes since the island is a part of Sindh, the central Sindh government has party. no right to develop it. But this is mere dirty politics, because the Sindh government is the major beneficiary of this massive project. It also faces environmental concerns. Nonetheless, if the central government and the Sindh government reach a conclusion, then this massive project will immensely benefit Pakistan. And of course at number one we have the massive CPEC or China-Pakistan Economic Corridor. Corridor. China-Pakistan Economic Corridor CPEC, is a collection of infrastructure projects, that will revamp Pakistan's energy, transport, agricultural sector. CPEC is such a huge project and covers such a vast amount of projects, that we will have to make another video just about CPEC only, but here we can discuss it in brief. Originally valued at $47 billion, the value of CPEC projects is worth over $65 billion as of 2021. CPEC is intended to rapidly upgrade Pakistan's required infrastructure and strengthen its economy by the construction of modern transportation networks, numerous energy projects, and special economic zones. It will add some 3 to 5 percent to Pakistan's GDP every year once fully completed, and will lay the base that Pakistan needs for achieving robust and reliable economic growth. Official statistics suggested a return of $6 billion United States dollars to $8 billion from taxes per annum such as road and bridge tolls, which is a massive earning considering it's almost free money for Pakistan. While many in the West and India in particular have deemed this a debt trap, it's clear that this is not the case, as 80% of CPEC are investments in joint ventures enterprise between Pakistan and China. We hope you enjoyed this video. Alright guys, so the top 10 mega projects in Pakistan. Mein. Rival Ravi City is a bundle island. I have a lot of projects. 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 I have a
एंड एक अलग सिटी बनाने की कोशिश है मतलब एक प्रोजेक्ट है जो एक अलग सिटी बना देंगे उसमें 2.5 मिलियन कर कर उसमें शायद आबादी आ सकेगी इस टाइप का कुछ आ, जो सोच है वो है बनाने का वहाँ पर लेकिन सिंध गवर्नमेंट की तरफ से मतलब उसका कनेक्शन है सिंध के एरिया में आता है तो लेकिन बढ़िया लगेगा जो भी बन जाएगा वहाँ पर बहुत सारी अपॉर्चुनिटीज़ इसमें दिखा रहे थे कि वहाँ पर बहुत सारे लोगों को जॉब अपॉर्चुनिटीज़ मिलेंगी एंड जो वो आइलैंड सिटी बन जाएगी एक तो एक अलग डिफरेंट टाइप का वहाँ पर खूबसूरती होगी उसमें देखने को मिलेगी लोग जाएंगे तो उससे इकोनॉमी भी आ, गेन होगी बहुत सारे प्रोजेक्ट्स थे ज़्यादातर कराची में थे कराची के बहरिया टाउन में जो बता रहे थे वो प्रोजेक्ट्स थे सी वाला जो चाइना चाइना का बहुत सारा इन्वेस्टमेंट है इन्होंने बताया इसमें कि चाइना बहुत पता नहीं कितना मुझे बड़े बड़े प्रोजेक्ट्स होने वाले हैं पेड़ों के बारे में बताया उन्होंने कि बहुत सारे पेड़ जब इमरान खान प्राइम मिनिस्टर बने थे तो उन्होंने सोचा था कि इतने बिलियन ट्रीज हम यहाँ पर लगाएंगे तो वो प्रोजेक्ट कंप्लीट करेंगे 2022 में खेतीबाड़ी होती है तो उस के लिए कहते हैं इसमें बता रहे थे कि जो वहाँ पर पाकिस्तान में बरसात होती है वो रिलायबल नहीं है आ, उस पर डिपेंड नहीं रह सकते इसलिए एक बहुत बड़ा प्रोजेक्ट बना रहे हैं ये जो कि डैम है एक जो पानी को रोकता है आ, या फिर उसको अपनी ज़रूरत के हिसाब से वहाँ पर छोड़ भी सकते हैं तो उस तरीके का बहुत बड़ा प्रोजेक्ट इन्होंने बताया था शायद आप सबसे बड़े लेवल का बना रहे हैं ये मोस्टली इसमें से तीन चार प्रोजेक्ट तो इन्होंने इसके लिए बताए थे कि कराची में होने वाले हैं तो कराची और ज़्यादा डेवलप हो जाएगा एंड जो भी प्रोजेक्ट्स हैं उनसे अर्निंग होती है इकोनॉमी डेवलप होती है तो ये सारी चीज़ों में मदद करते हैं ये जो भी प्रोजेक्ट्स होते हैं वो आप कमेंट सेक्शन में बताइए आपको किस चीज़ का इंतज़ार है इसमें से कि आप क्या चाहते हैं कि ये सब कुछ हो जाए आ, आपकी सिटी में या फिर आपके वहाँ पर आ, जो आप देखना चाहते हैं इन फ्यूचर तो बस इस वीडियो में इतना ही गाइज लाइक करके शेयर करना मिलते हैं फिर नेक्स्ट वीडियो में ऐसे ही इंटरेस्टिंग वीडियो के साथ सब्सक्राइब कर बेलाइकन जरूर प्रेस करना बाय बाय टेक केयर साइनिंग ऑफ